before our very eyes, Biden and his left-wing handlers are turning America into a police state. Think of what's happening. Look at what's going on. After ignoring violent attacks on pro-life clinics, the Biden administration is rounding up pro-life activists all over the country. First, they arrested the minister that you all read about. Then this week, they arrested grandparents with guns drawn, many agents storming into their little houses, putting them in jail and protesting. These people went out and beautifully, silently protested. And they're in jail now. They were protesting outside of abortion clinics, charging them with crimes punishable by up to 11 years in prison. In many cases, they're grandparents, they're elderly people. And they're doing this to look at peaceful patriots. Think of it. These are peaceful patriots. You can agree with them. You don't have to agree. They want to put them in jail for 11 years for doing what they have the absolute right to do. The Democrats are locking up their political opponents, spying on their political rivals, silencing dissent and using the full force of government, law enforcement, and the media, the fake media, all of those people right there, to try and crush our movement. Every freedom-loving American needs to understand the time to stand up to this growing tyranny is right now. In this election, we have to do it. We don't have the luxury of waiting. The only way evil will triumph is for good men and women to do nothing. That's how they — that's how they triumph. We do nothing. If we do nothing, they triumph. We no longer have that luxury. So no matter what these left-wing radicals try next, no matter what they do to us, we have to keep on going, and we have to keep on fighting because we are on a mission to restore our nation to greatness. We can do that. We can do that. For six straight years, the witch hunts, hoaxes, and abuses have been coming at us fast and furious. They come at all of us. First, we learned they spied on my campaign. Think of it. Can you imagine? Let's take Barack Hussein Obama. Could you imagine if we spied on his campaign? They would reinstitute the death penalty, okay? That's what they'd be doing. Then they lied to Congress. So they spied on the campaign. I just can't get over it every time I say it. And they get protected in Washington. They're like a protected species. Then they lied to the FISA court. They lied up and down to the FISA court many times and created a fake dossier. It turned out to be totally fake that was done and paid for by crooked Hillary Clinton and the Democrat National Committee. And now it's admitted to have been fake. Then these same people, they come after me. Think of it. They spy on my campaign. They lie to Congress. They lie to the FISA court all up and down the line. Lies, all lies, all proven now. They even admit it. And then they come after us. Ridiculous. Remember, it was Russia, Russia, Russia. Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. And then the Mueller witch hunt, where the conclusion was no collusion. You think Biden could say that? Conclusion <laughs> was no collusion. He'd be up here all night trying to get that one out. And then you had impeachment hoax number one. You remember that? The perfect phone call. Perfect. And then you have impeachment hoax number two. And then the censorship of the Biden family corruption story by the FBI to Facebook and the media as Russian disinformation, which they knew wasn't true. It was a lie. Think of that one. Don't put it on at all. This is Russian disinformation. And that made, they say, up to a 17-point difference in the polls. Think of it. If that word got out before the election, so they told them, don't let it get out. Those people played part of it. And they're just as guilty as justice and the FBI, the fake news media.